babae ko nagpala ng kapresyan. Welcome back to my channel. And for today, we are going to review the Jenny Mercado X Max Factor um, collaboration. Actually, si Jenny Mercado is a new Filipina brand ambassador for Max Factor. And I have here is her current Max Factor favorites. And I am going to test kung getching pa siya or betching. I'm sure Jenny Mercado has her own makeup artist. So we shall see kung maganda pa mga favorites niya. Yeah. judge her. But then, I'm not judging her whatsoever. I am going to test out kung maganda ba yung formulation at kung maganda ba yung makeup na favorite niya. So I have here three products, a mascara, and I have here the pressed powder. This is the Facefinity Compact Foundation. And I also have the lipstick. This is the you know, bullet lipstick nila. This is the shade Jolie. So I will test that out and we should see if it's catching or if that's it. Also, I am going to recreate Jenny Mercado's makeup look. So if you want to watch me do that, keep on watching. So I literally did my eyes off camera now so we could save a little bit of time. So for the powder, I will be um, putting on foundation because with me, I really like the like, full coverage beat. Kasi, actually, pwede mo tong gamitin tong powder nila na as is na. And it would look cute. And ano na siya, as in, pwede na siya maging foundation. But for me, kasi I really love it kapag full coverage ng bongga. For my foundation, I am going with my all-time favorite Maybelline Super Safe Foundation. So, medyo baboy-baboy na yung aking um, lalagyan. So, don't really judge. I'll be blending it with my original beauty blender. So, I'm going to ng foundation, a liquid foundation, and I'm going to try the Facefinity Compact Foundation. This is the shade Ivory. It smells very, you know, very nice. Ano siya, hindi matapang yung amoy. So, we shall see. I'll put it muna sa chin ko. Finish niya sa skin, very smooth. Hindi siya super powdery. I expected it to be. Um, wala naman siyang breakage or magbubuo sa face, which I super duper love. Kasi a lot of my powders, mayro mga times na may nagbubuo siya, so I take that. Okay. Still no patchiness. Um, any dry areas na the finish compact foundation. The tip na lang nila ang bongga. Wala namang ano pa, oil na natitira. Kasi mayroong mga powders na kahit nag-powder ka na yung ma-oil pa rin siya. This one as in it sets everything. Now we're moving on sa mascara naman. And here it is. Here is top niya medyo circular and yung, yung baba niya is medyo napaganon. So, I think it's a bit big, but we shall see. I can see that it can really coat the lashes naman. Maganda. And it can really separate each hair from each other para hindi siya mag-clamp up. And yung circular, um, ball in the tip of the wand is very helpful getting inside the areas na hindi mo nalalagyan ng mascara easily. So that is a big plus for me. Although, I think the only concern I have is the wand is too big for my eyes and syempre here in the Philippines, diba, most of the people naman aren't, don't have like big eyes. So, I think it would be a bit hard for them to manage the big wand. Because for me, like, feeling ko like natatamaan ko yung mata ko and it feels a bit uncomfortable but okay naman siya. It can really coat ano, the lashes really well. So far, it looks cute naman. It's just a bit basic for me. 
See, sa sobrang laki ng wand, I got a little mascara on my contact lens. And now, I am trying my best to put it back without smudging the entire eye look. See? Karat, karat na. Let's smudge sa taas yung, ano, yung mascara or something. See? Kalat na siya sa foundation ko and everywhere. Just trying to save the entire makeup look. So now I will just finish my entire face and we're moving on to lips. I'm going to try their bullet lipstick. So now guys, I'll be moving on to the lipstick. This is in the shade Chili. This is the bullet lipstick. We shall see how it looks. Actually, I changed the lipstick on this look because um, the inspired look for Jennifer Mercado, she has nude lips. So this one is red tone and with metal kineme. So, try lang natin and then I'll change my lipstick. Okay? Something about the taste of this lipstick reminds me of the early 2000s. <laughs> and I mean, as if naman sobrang tanda ko na, but like, early 2000s kasi yung mga lipstick, they really taste like berries. Um, very cosmetic berries. As in, parang makeup, na pero as in berries yung lasa niya. Ganun yung lasa nito. And reminds me of the, you know, this, na nagsastart pa lang ako mag, mag research, research about this stuff. And talagang, Reminds you of the lipsticks na ginagamit ng mom ko before. I think it's really max factor yung gamit niya before. Pantay naman yung kanyang color payoff. And if this doesn't dry down matte, it is a creamy. This one's glossy. I really feel like this one is glossy, which isn't really me. I don't really like metallic lipsticks. But I really think this is a cute shade for a metallic shade. As in, meron siyang mga glitter um, pigments, which I super duper think is cute. So I'll be changing my lipstick already, and after that, I will give you my final thoughts. So now I'm ready to give you my final thoughts. Unahin ko muna the Facefinity Compact Foundation. I super love the finish and. The coverage is really nice, especially on top of a liquid foundation. It really is full coverage. And talagang maganda yung kanyang powder. Hindi siya cakey, hindi rin siya chalky. Hindi rin siya nagsasettle sa skin na ang pangit-pangit. It's nagkikake like na ewan and it's super maganda yung kanyang pag-apply sa face. And it has a smooth matte finish. So for me, the Face Finity Contact Foundation is Get Choice. And next up is their Fall Slash Epic. For this one, hindi ko masyadong feel na malaki yung kanyang wand. It's super hard to use on your eyes. At talagang napupoke mo yung eyeball mo, which is really like dangerous. Malay mo, like masugatan mo yung eyes mo. And the bristles are so sharp. So, parang like, in the ball, I, I like the ball though, as in like, it gets in the areas that you don't want but the spikes are super like dangerous talaga for me, and it's sa mata. And also, napapansin ko na like, sa smudge siya dito sa taas ng eyes ko and sa lower area, which is, uh, I hate it. I hate that when, when that happens talaga kasi naruruin yung buong makeup look ko. For me, the Fall Slash Epic is rich. I'm so sorry, Max Factor. Kasi it's just really hard to use on, on, on me. That's just my opinion. Everything in this channel is just my opinion and they just don't work for me. It may work for you, it may work for other people, and it may work for people in the brand, but it doesn't work for me as a consumer. So, don't judge. Okay. Now we're moving on to the bullet lipstick. This one. I love the smell. It reminds me of the early 2000s. Because the lipsticks before really smell and taste like berries. And I super love that. It reminds me of the days where I go in my mom's makeup kit and I literally look at all her makeup and swatch them. 
yes, I did that when I was younger. My mom was very much okay with it because I probably should, it, it, it entertains her because at that time, I was always the one in the house, obviously. I'm the bunso. So, yo, and super love it. Na, it smells like berries. It's super creamy and talagang may color payoff talaga siya. And the crystals are so nice. They're like gold. So, you know naman me, I love it when it's like, ano, shimmer shimmer, keme keme. So guys, that is my review for Janine Mercado's um, Max Factor Faves. Hindi nagtumpak lahat ng favorites ni Janine Mercado, but there are a lot naman din in this collection that I super duper love. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you want to watch other videos, and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button para naman manotify kayo if I have a new video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next